Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, Hiromi came to us and she needed someone the most. Talking about her mother and cancer and that was, that was very sad. Now, she left. And I have no idea where we are now. Hmm. Oh, we're back at the uh, swimming pool. It'll be the first time I've seen Miko and Hiromi since I had these dramatic moments with them. I'm not really sure what to expect. Both of those girls laid their feelings in front of me, making themselves completely vulnerable. Yeah. It must have been a huge step for them to take. Yeah, especially with someone they only knew for like a month. Or so. I know I said to my dad that I didn't want to date anyone, but I can't help but feel like we're all more intimate with each other now, especially Miko. When I saw both of them like that, it really got my heart racing. To my relief, both of them walked through the door with a smile on their faces. Oh, that's good. Except for Miko, she was angry. Keita! Keita! Both of them are very happy to see me. <gasps> Yay! How have you been? I can't complain. What about you two? Is everything alright? Hope so. I've been great lately. Same. While we still don't have any more members, I'd say the swimming club is doing great. Yeah, am I getting better? We're so lucky that you decided to join. I'd say I'm more lucky to have found the swimming club. Anyway, are you both ready for training? Absolutely. I have to say that I am. Oh, Hiromi's here actually, on time. I just realized that. They both seem okay now. After everything that happened, I must have helped in some small way. Yeah, being there for them. That is actually a really big thing, not a small thing. What's even better is that they're really eager to get back in the pool. So, the National Swimming Tournament is coming up. It is? Remember how I said we can make it there if we train? We will? Yeah. Are we still aiming for that? What do you mean are we still aiming for that? Of course we're aiming for that, Keita! Of course we are, silly. I'll enter the swimming club as contenders this year. Uh, are you sure? I don't think I'm ready yet. What? You don't think you're ready? I don't think I'm ready. Come on, Miko. Stop being humble. You're a lot better than you think you are. Uh, thank you, Hiromi. So... It's agreed then? <gasps> I... I guess I can go along with this. Hurrah! I'm up for it too. Let's do it, Keita. Are you sure that I'm ready for that kind of competition? I mean, I'm still not a great swimmer. You're joking, right? No, I'm a bad swimmer. Haven't you noticed how much of an improvement you've made? I have? I haven't noticed. That's right. You've been here for ages now. It's only been like a month. There's no way you haven't improved in that time. How could you not notice how well you're swimming? Well, I kind of just swim. I... I guess I'm not very good at introspection. Is that a word? Either way, I think we're ready to go. If we win this tournament, maybe we can get more members to join the swimming club. I mean, th it's a very stupid rumor that's going around and it doesn't make any sense. That somehow giving you girls a bad reputation for saving that girl from drowning. What the heck? That just doesn't make any sense. Well, what are we standing around like this for? Gotta start training! Shall we get training? Absolutely. You'd better do your best. 
Do you even need to tell me to do my best anymore? Sometimes a reminder doesn't hurt. That's right. Well, that's true. Sometimes a reminder. Not always, though. Without much more fanfare, we continue to train. I feel even more exhausted than usual today. That means you did it. You swam your best. We end up finishing early. Hiromi heads straight for the changing rooms. However, Miko stays behind. Hmm, why is that? So, so, I wanted to talk about before. It was selfish of me to just dump that on you. What? No, it's fine. Don't say that. Friends support each other. It wasn't selfish of you. You're so kind, Keda. She's blushing like crazy. It's something that's been bothering me for a very long time. Everyone got really apologetic after they learned those rumors weren't true. Now how does that continue on with the bad reputation for the swimming club then? But even then, there was still a shadow of doubt. Oh. That's what is keeping the bad reputation up? Meaning everyone avoided the swimming club. But now, I've gotten it off my chest. I think I can start moving forward again. Yay! She looks towards the pool and smiles as she says that. I've already made new memories with you. You yeah? have? I hope we can have many more memories. Oh. And I will start keeping some of those memories. Uh, I mean, it's not like I haven't. Uh, yeah. I hope so too. You don't know how much you've done for me. S stop it. I haven't done anything for you. Really, you have. Ever since I came to the swimming club, I've been enjoying life again. So, you aren't selfish. How am I not selfish? Hiromi is dealing with something far worse than I am. How could I possibly compare what happened to me with what she's going through? What's different? It's, it's a different level of stress for each person because they're different. I mean, you're taking it differently than she could be taking it, Miko. But your friend nearly died. I... I... She just shakes her head. Sorry. But that's in the past, isn't it? Yeah, you shouldn't be reliving your past. Unless it's somehow to strengthen you for the future. You can move forward now, can't you? She holds still for a moment, then nods. Right. What's done is done. That is correct, Miko. All we can do is move forward and do better. You're a far nicer person than I thought you could have been. Aww. So you thought I was a, a dirtbag? Why are you so nice to me when I'm being so selfish? I don't understand why you're thinking that way. Isn't it a given that you treat people with kindness? Yeah. You have to treat someone like you would want someone to treat you. I... Yes, that's right. I guess I'm not used to people treating me nicely like this. Everyone else just does it because they feel guilty about what happened. Oh... That kind of makes sense. She's assuming that everyone's treating her... Um, nicely because of feeling guilt about what happened. So that's that's why she sees everyone, or that's why she accuses everyone and assumes really fast. That makes a lot of sense now. You're being sincere about it. That's the difference I'm seeing. Thanks again, Keda. She picks up her bag and beams a smile at me. I look forward to training next week. You're not the only one. That's the right spirit. 
I guess I couldn't get away without her saying that. I'm not very fond of this pet name. You get used to it, dummy. I see my pet names are piling up. They most certainly are, idiot. He's having way too much fun with this. Anyway, you better show up next time. See you soon, Kata. I think I'll walk home alone today. Oh, okay. I need some time to think to myself. She's good to her word and quickly heads to the changing rooms. Hiromi steps out of there shortly after. I wanted to apologize to you about what I did. It's my burden to bear, not yours. No, it's... Burdens aren't supposed to be bared by one person. So this is tell your friends and let them help you, Hiromi. And everyone that's listening right now. Yet, all I did was throw it on you like that. Wait, she had, she had perfect timing of coming out of that changing room after Miko was done talking about what she did at my house. Telling me about her story. It was shameful of me to simply sob into your chest like that. No, it isn't. No one's burdens are their own, Hiromi. Yeah, that's what I just said, Keda. Sharing them with others isn't selfish. We've only known each other for a short time. Hey, I think I said that too. Oh my goodness. I think this game knows what my thoughts are. So, it's strange. How could I simply walk away when you needed help? It's just... It wasn't fair on you. I feel as if I'm in your debt now. What? You don't owe me anything. Friends don't owe each other anything. Oh my goodness! Kata is just reading my mind. He's a fortune teller. Reading fortune cookies. It's supposed to be about giving freely when others are in need. Yes, that's true. He seems off put by something. I, I had you pinned as someone who didn't care. Because of what Miko said when I knocked her on the ground the first time and saw her striped panties? I cannot believe how wrong I was. You're far warmer than I could have ever expected. There's a kind heart underneath all of that apathy you had. Why did you hide it? I didn't really try to hide it. It just got buried underneath other things. I see. I know you have your own issues too. I'm slowly piecing it together. You feel like you're living in his shadow, aren't you? <gasps> Hiromi knows me. She's trying to analyze me again. Maybe she should be a uh, psychologist. A therapist. Or a psychiatrist. I've been thinking about it a lot, and this theory is the one that makes the most sense. You're sick of people trying to force you to succeed, aren't you? Hmm. Well, I mean, that is pretty much the same thing as trying to go for something that people expects of you hmm and that's what a lot of people have trouble with these days it's just people expect so much from them and that they want them to follow this like this one path that they already have set in their minds but in truth it's those people the ones that's being forced upon or upon the expectations the one that's following that path it's what they want to do it's what they're passionate about what you're passionate about to just do what you want and what you love to do instead of what you think would be better for everyone i i don't really want to talk about it Hiromi just shrugs. All right then. I've never felt more reassured than I do now. My mother will be fine. She's always been strong. Aw. That's good. She'll be able to go through surgery and make it out. 
Yay! Hope it's not a big tumor. After the therapy, I'm sure she'll be fine. It... It was just nice to hear someone else say it. So, thank you, once again. You're welcome, Hiromi. I haven't had a lot of friends in my life. But you're definitely one of them. With a smile on her face, Hiromi heads out of the swimming pool. I will see you later. Uh, friend. With little else to do here, I head off as well. Neither of them seem to want to walk home together. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and just actually listening to what I had to say about um, following your dreams and going for things that you are passionate about. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye.